Now we would like Sister Bela Khan to talk about herself and uh, I would like to introduce her as one of the author of the book Know Thyself, Know Thy Values. After studying and teaching Quran for around seven years, Bela began to explore why the Muslim Ummah is not progressing as much as the non-Muslims. In her work with several non-Muslims, she was amazed to find that they were using the principles from the Quran and Sunnah in the name of universe, source, inner guidance, higher self. It was then that she started Muslim Women Empowerment, a journey towards spiritual and emotional empowerment of women. Bela combines the principles of personal development, psychology and human behavior with the divine principles of Islam to help women find peace, tranquility and direction in their lives. Please welcome Sister Bela Khan. Uh, audible. Okay, am I audible? I hope I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Alright. Founder and Chief Inspiration Officer of Muslim Women Empowerment. Um, can I have my first slide, please? Okay, the next slide. Okay, great. So, Ramadan is around the corner, so I'd like to take this opportunity to explain my point with the help of an example related to Ramadan. So, let's start by differentiating two kinds of people. Uh, there are some people who are really excited about Ramadan, they're waiting, they're preparing, they're planning for Ramadan, and then, uh, can I have the next slide, please? Yes. Then there is another category of people who are just, who are totally indifferent. They just don't care. And they're wondering why are some people so excited about Ramadan? And the only preparation they do is to get some fillings for their samosas. So why is that? Why are some people like, they go crazy if they miss Fajr, while others, they just don't care. They're like Fajr sleeping, Duhar cooking, Asr tea time, or TV time, Maghrib watching movie, and Aisha sleeping again. They just don't care. Why? There are some people who go to Hajj and they return, but nothing changes in their Muhammadat. They, they lie, they cheat, they backbite, they do everything that they used to do before performing Hajj. And then again, why there are some people who enter Ramadan and come out well, not even an inch of them has changed. Okay, can I have my next slide, please? Okay, yes, the slide, okay. So, the difference, my dear sisters, is of knowledge, of awareness, whatever you want to call it. The one who is excited about Ramadan knows the benefits and blessings of Ramadan. The one who is not excited does not know. It's as simple. I believe that uh, the lack of unity in the Ummah stems from the lack of proper knowledge. The lack of patience stems from lack of proper knowledge. When we have proper knowledge, uh, we, we, we know that offering Salah with Hushu is more important than fighting on the numbers of Taraweeh. We know that self-accountability is far more important than pointing fingers at others. And we know that Quran encourages us to hold the rope of Allah and, and do not bring up the issues that disunite us. I hope I'm making my point and can I have my last, last slide please? Okay. So Muslim Women Empowerment is my little attempt to bring the sisters of the world together by teaching them Quran and Sunnah, as well as the principles of psychology and human behavior. Why? So that they get to know why do we do what do, why do we do what we do, and the way we do it. So we usually start by helping the sisters to find a direction, a passion, purpose, whatever you want to call it, uh, in life, because a lot of depression and anxiety and stress and self-esteem issues. They stem from the fact that we don't know what we are doing with our lives. This is, this is very unfortunate. And then we help them to implement whatever they have learned in their lives. And, and then we encourage them to take a step ahead and help other sisters to do the same. And secondly, we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given all of us immense talent and potential. MashaAllah, you are, we are already 
having a great introduction of the sisters of the Muslim network, mashallah. So, but a lot of us do not know about it. So what we do is we help sisters to uncover those talents and teach them how to use those talents to benefit themselves as well as others. And finally, we also help them to tackle different issues like self-esteem, stress, inability to manage their emotions, depression, and so on. So it's, it's a sort of a chain reaction in which we are empowering sisters to be the best version of themselves, and they are empowering other sisters. So I just encourage you to be a part of this mission by visiting the website, belahan.com, and signing up there, inshallah. I thank the Muslim Network team to give me this opportunity to talk to you. May Allah reward the entire team and may it grow, grow fast. I pray to Allah to unite us all and make us a source of blessing for the entire Ramadan. I hope this was helpful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.